Only the good turn bad Need to wake up cause I'm far away So I won't go mad My vacation's over I left my family on the way back to Georgia. I'm gonna stop off at Miller's Fried Chicken for the best fried chicken known to man. Like a prisoner of time and space, locked within a cell. I'm at Miller's Chickens in Athens, Ohio. This is on my way home, so I cannot resist stopping by to get their fried chicken. They have the best chicken I've ever had that's fried. It's independently operated. It is not a chain. It is not franchised. They've been here for quite a number of years. I'm not sure exactly how many. Anyway, what I ordered today was two five-piece chicken bags. Each one set me back about $7.50. The first one I'm gonna eat now. The second one I'm gonna take home and reheat it in the morning after show that you'll see shortly after the end of this video. This is the bag that it comes in, a plain old paper bag. Let's not kill any more time. Let's open this thing up. We have two bags. Aluminum foil line bag, holds the heat in, holds the moisture in. And you can see what's inside. It looks simply wonderful. You can smell this. I'm not sure what their secret ingredients are. Two wings, a thigh, a breast, and a leg. It smells good, very appetizing. I know it's gonna be good because I've had it before. It's hot, it's cooked to order, and guess what? We've got Diet Coke. Why kill any more time? Let's get on with it and get the bite test going on. Mm. It's tender, it's moist, not too salty, fresh flavor. It just melts in your mouth. Every time I eat this, I can't get over how good it is. They do sell chicken livers, but they usually run out by one o'clock, two o'clock in the afternoon because they're that hot of an item. I've had their chicken livers. They know how to cook them. Mm. Damn it, that's good. Joe didn't get any napkin. But because I plan ahead, I have napkins. Diet Coke. The drumsticks and the thighs are my favorite. Not too salty, not too greasy. Cooks just right. This is high quality chicken. Not like KFC, that is deep fried slop compared to this. Chicken breast will be a little too dry when I go places. This is not. They have the temperature of their fryer just perfect. Even the breast meat isn't dry, although this is a wing. Hey, you pizza places out there that can't make chicken wings? Well, this is what they're supposed to look like. There is a limit to the amount of food that I can ingest. Sorry about talking with my mouth open. You know who you are that it bothers. Ugh. This place is always busy. We're 30 minutes of closing and there's cars lined up everywhere. If you're ever in Athens, Ohio, or you live here and you don't know about this place, you need to try it. Brand new from Dunkin' Donuts, guys. From Miller's Fried Chicken in Athens, Ohio, I'd like to give a shout out to my friend Joe Muller at JKM Crave TV. The link for him is below. Okay, that was it. We ate our chicken. It is 10 out of 10. Service is great food the way they cook the chicken and where they get their chicken or whatever they do I don't know what it is 
but it is the best fried chicken I have ever eaten in my life. It is always cooked perfectly every time. Even the chicken breast is not dry when you bite through it. It's great. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe. I need to put this show on the road and get on back to Georgia. I've got about nine hours left to drive and uh, we'll be seeing you in the morning after. I need to be swept away, swept away. Ah. Let me welcome you to the morning after where we reheat, rehash, and retry the food we bought the day before and see how it fares overnight in the refrigerator and reheated in the microwave. Today, we're featuring Miller's Fried Chicken from Athens, Ohio. We got a wing and a thigh. I like dark meat. Let's take and pop this thing in the microwave. We've got them heated up. Well, obviously, it's not as crispy as it was when it was first cooked. It was wonderful yesterday. It smells good. I think I want to eat it. Mm. Maybe a little drier. Obviously the crust isn't crispy, but still edible. Actually, I prefer my chicken cold. I almost never eat chicken. I think the taste is dulled slightly. It's not as, it's still decent. This is definitely reheatable, but it's still, it's not the same as when it was cooked fresh because I like that crispy, that crispy crust. <sighs> I have not eaten anything all day long. It still has that salty, not too salty taste. The flavor is still there. I don't know how they get it cooked so evenly. I can't get enough of this. I'm gonna stray off the beaten path a little bit. I'm gonna try eating one of these wings cold. Let me chop this with the microwave a little bit. It's a little dry, you can tell. Now, let's see how this does. Ow, I got it too hot. Ow! Microwave and it brings out the flavor a little bit. I wish this thing was an easy driving distance to me. 500 miles a little bit long to drive for fried chicken. If anybody's got any suggestions to where to get fried chicken in Georgia of a particularly high quality, not a chain, let me know. Leave it in the comment. I'm gonna say that the chicken, when it was new, cooked, was 10 out of 10. No question. I've never had chicken that good and consistent. Reheating it, I'm gonna give it about a 7 out of 10. If you find any of this interesting, subscribe, hit the notify bell, and uh, we'll see you on the next video. I I hold on to this storm cause I need to be swept away, swept away. Ah, I'm cornered in the cold where you left me, left again, left again. Oh, there's a jungle in my head going wilder. This looks really awesome. <laughs> we would like to thank you again, right? No, it's running. It's running. Just keep your back to it. I'm just gonna walk. It's hungry. I'm at Miller's Chicken in Athens, Georgia.